my name is Candido Rodriguez. I'm a financial advisor with Northwestern Mutual. And um, what we what, what we do here in, in Northwestern in my private in my private practice, it's um, since we've all done some level of planning, either it is uh, you know we have our checking account, savings accounts, probably a CD, a 401k, uh, mortgages, life insurance, health insurance. What we try to do is bring everything with us uh, as for a center relationship approach, where um, your CPA, your it's uh, or, or your accountant and your lawyer uh, all are on the same. We all on the same same page. Uh, we know what we're paying for and what we have. So it's like emptying the financial bucket, making sure that um, what we have in there is still relevant and works. And uh, whatever needs to be in, uh, increased, decreased, it's fixed, but it, we make sure that those, uh, those pieces fits perfectly. Uh, the way we do it is by developing a plan which is integrated, holistic, uh, distinct, and, and confident. Um, the advantage of having a financial plan uh, is that uh, once uh, it gives you more confidence, uh, not only for the unforeseeable, but also gives you the, the, the gives you the peace of mind that if anything happens, uh, you know what to do next. Um, we our planning philosophy is uh, first of all to protect what we have so we don't lose any ground if, uh, if anything happens uh, in life. Life any anyway, things in life are gonna are gonna happen. Um, we're gonna have difficulties. We're gonna have hard times, but we want to make sure that, that, uh, that we, already, we already put in place the a found, solid foundation that helps us build on top of that. Uh, we help grow because we want, we, we want to find, make sure that all our dollars have a job description, that um, we know which are the dollars that are going towards uh, paying the, the, our necessities, but also knowing which is the available amount of money that we have for our wants, for um, vacation, for that dream, for that dream car. Or, um, or even to save to start a new business. And ultimately is to maximize, make sure that those dollars we, that, we, that we make available are growing in a rate that are gonna work for us, now we're, we're not working for them. So uh, we, that's, that's a way that we address long-term care, uh, long, long-term uh, goals and, um, and, and plans that, that, that our clients might have. So, we we try the, our main thing. It's uh, it's changing the idea. It's not if, it's when. Uh, we have sometimes we want to plan for what if, but when we actually should plan for when it happens. Um, so, how a financial plan can help you with that? It's uh, first first it's uh, it's help you grow your income, um, because if even if you're an employee, a W two employee, a ten ninety nine employee, or a business owner. Uh, you have, you might be limited on the on the on the on the amount of money that you bring in. So we make sure to see to take a twelve thousand feet view of where the money is coming from and what is it going. So are we overspending? Are we um, overfunding uh, something that could be that we can take those extra dollars and funnel it to uh, to, to another uh, to another activity or to or to something that we might be have been neglecting for for years. So the second way is uh, is also it help you with the cash flow. Um, once we have uh, once once the money is in our bank account, where does it go? Um, it happens that uh, sometimes you know you break a hundred dollar bill, and by the end of the day, it's just gone. You don't know what you don't know where it go, where it went. And same thing with our bank account. We have automated bills that we're not looking. We don't know uh, what we're paying. Sometimes paying for subscription that we don't need. And uh, but also uh, our even our mortgages, our 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 car finance um, that um, the, once the money comes in, we don't know where it's going. Um, we're getting used, and we we feel like well, if we have more, we can fix it. But uh, we just burning we just money burning money instead of finding what is uh, what is the problem. Um, the other part is like it's make uh, build a security for your family and your future. Um, we are our biggest assets and it's our ability to generate income and generate money, whether to our own business or employment is what that is the foundation for everything that we want to do in the future. So what happened, what, you know, what we're going to do when um, we get hurt or sick and can't work, or if we have an untimely passing, uh, what if, uh, uh, you know, I need, I, I, something happens to me that I need care. Like it, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in a good position. So those are the things that if it happens, it's fine. But we have to plan for when it happens because 
at one point or another, we're going to need those. Um, also, you know, the, um, another thing that the plan and, and we help our clients is to make sure that, uh, that we, we focus on placing investments and asset creation. And when usually investment is very related to the stock market, but uh, you know, if um, if our home, uh, how we invest in our home, how is our 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 kitchen renovation is going to increase our value, or that pool is going to decrease our value? Are we going to pay more taxes for for that renovation? So it's uh, it's it's more in what we try to what we try to do, and we we have achieved well most successful client is to create to make assets, create assets from our purchases, our investments, our, um, our expenses, as opposed to just um, taking money from A and turning and moving into B. It's like, let's make sure that this money from A generates enough to, to create a C over time. Um, and also it's help you be prepared for, to deal with the unforeseenable. Um, you know, like as by now we all know that nobody, and if you had told me in February, 2020, that the like the biggest city in the world was gonna be shut down in two weeks. I would have, you know suggest you to go to the doctor because it was it, it was completely uh, it, it, the shutdown of the, the New York City for me it was never gonna happen. And a month later you could walk on Times Square and see nobody. You could drive through Manhattan in 15 minutes something that like, I had never seen. So uh, a financial plan help you uh, be prepared for those for the unforeseenable situation in our lives, um, especially when we have to deal with, uh, when we have when we have either families, business. So what we have to have in place so that when a situation happens, we, we know already what to do next. We have that checklist uh, of, and, and that emergency backpack that we know what's in there and how to use it. Um, ultimately, a financial plan uh, will help you achieve all your long-term goals. Um, whether it is to uh, grow your business, uh, create a new one, uh, you know, buy a, a vacation home in, in, in Florida or that villa in Tuscany, um, our financial plan will help you uh, visualize that and, and get you there. And um, the last one, it's, uh, it's to have a very happy retirement. So we all work hard and as a business owners, we, we tend to not to put our mask on we concern our employees, our clients, but not on our own uh, future. And there will be a day that even if you want to continue working, it is fine. But it's uh, it, this will allow you to make the decision whether if you want to work or when you want to work. Um, this uh, that that you know planning for retirement will give you that financial independence of not having to do stuff. It's just uh, and and doing what you really care about whether it is charity, family, or even working on your community, um, having a plan will help you get there uh, in a quicker and, and easier, better way. So it's uh, my information. So you can, I can be reached at 973-531-2137. And uh, my email is at candido.rodriguez at nm.com. So I think I have a few more minutes if anyone has any questions. Thank you, sir. You are always so punctual. See so if anyone has any questions. Thank you, question. Paul. <laughs> I have one question. Go ahead. Um, the retirement, we actually touched upon this in our breakout room, but I'm curious, the retirement, um, people who were planning to retire prior to COVID, um, has that changed anything? In, in the beginning, many, many people jump off the boat. They try to like get off the market and, and move away from, from their, like accelerate their plans. But now uh, in the post sort of pandemic, it's pushing people for, I have, I have clients that are pushing retirement that were scheduled to retire in 2021, 23, that are pushing it to 25 and 26, uh, just because of the concern with the economy and, uh, and the performance of, um, uh, you know, and especially the tax code, uh, which um, we don't know what's going to happen by the end of the week. And from Friday to Monday, the whole bill, the whole proposed bill was changed, completely changed. So there are very, there are a lot of concerns and, and people, but we help them navigate through those. I can assure you that it's only one direction it's going to go on the taxes. <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> we all know that. 